Hello! Welcome to my bedroom art studio. Come in, come in, but take your shoes off. We live in an Asian household here and my parents will be very mad if you track any dirt into yours. Um, a cameraman was not in the budget, so I'm gonna have to move you myself. Let's go. If you're new here, hello, I'm Katie and I'm an illustrator and I'm very happy that you somehow stumbled into my corner of the internet. If you'd like to stay a little bit longer, consider subscribing. But if you aren't new here, you'll know that I have redone this corner of my room twice now. It looks a little bit different from my last studio makeover and I've had this setup for about a month now and I really, really like it. So I thought it was about time to do a little bit more of an in-depth tour. And this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot who are the makers of this beautiful desk right next to me. I asked them if I was able to do a giveaway for you guys and they were kind enough to say yes and we'll be giving away one of their standard standing desks, the E1 model. So stay to the end of the video to hear all about my desk and how you could win your own desk. I don't know why I picked the gloomiest, rainiest day to film this tour. So hopefully the lighting isn't too dark, but let's start at this corner over here. This is to the left of my desk. If you guys remember, I had a similar shelf that my parents found on the side of the road and we spray painted it. And this shelf looks exactly the same, except it has five shelves instead of three shelves. I also spray painted this one green. This was an old shelf that we found in my grandma's garage that she wasn't using. It was super rusted, but nothing a little bit of Rust-Oleum spray paint couldn't fix. This guy holds a ton of stuff. This is basically all of my shop inventory. We have a snake plant and then various little bags and stuff. I have these ones from Bagu that I really like. I have this one that my boyfriend got me and I have all of the stickers and stuff that I get sent from you guys in here so then I could use them in my planner and remember to use all of them. Most of the stuff in my room is either thrifted and DIY'd from Facebook Marketplace and if they're not from there, most likely will be from Ikea or Amazon. So I'll try my best to link the stuff that I can link down below. This is from Ikea. It's pretty inexpensive. I keep traditional artworks in these. And then some of these hold sketchbooks, um, more paper. <laughs> like I have a bunch of these paper scraps that I've been meaning to do something with. And just a bunch of watercolor paper right there. And then moving down here, I have a bunch of stuff in hay containers. I love these containers. One, they're like super cute and they also stack on top of each other. So everything on here is my shop stuff. Down here we have my beautiful Monstera. I have like all the sizes ranging from small to medium to large. I think the medium size boxes fit the best on the shelf because I can fit two of them stacked and then I could fit four on a whole shelf. So I have memo pads in here, my business cards, Patreon awards, planners, um, big prints, and then in this box right here are my enable pins and bookmarks. Uh, so this guy fits a lot of stuff and it's one of my favorite finds. I would definitely search Facebook Marketplace. I'd give like wire shelf a search on Google. Um, I'm sure you could find a lot of old ones for cheap because all they need is like a little bit of sanding, a little bit of spray paint, and then it is good as new. I also have this light, I believe it's from Ikea, up here too. So I have a little bit of extra light when I'm painting and stuff. And then another fun thing on this shelf is that there are little holes, and these are for moving the actual shelves, but I use it to put all the enamel pins I collect on it. And I hope one day I could fill like the whole shelf with pins. I think it would look super cool. Moving on, I have the rolling cart that every art girly has. This specific one is from Ikea. These carts come in like every single color imaginable. It's on wheels, I'm a huge proponent of things that are on wheels because it makes for easy transport. This just keeps all of my packaging supplies. I'll go into my closet, take a couple of the packaging supplies out and then put them in here and I'll replenish it as I use it. It's kind of like a store, just easy access and then when I'm not packing orders, because I'm not packing orders all the time, I can move this into my closet 
or somewhere where I don't see it so then I could get a little bit more space over here. And then over in this corner is a new addition. You might remember this green shelf from my Renegade setup. Miffy is up on top here because my salt lamp light blew out yesterday and I was honestly really upset about it and I needed more light. I freaking love this salt lamp so much even though I don't know if it does anything really but it, it gives really good vibes and apparently positive ions radiate from it. I literally don't know. That could totally be fake. Anyway, Miffy is up here right now for some light. I usually have her by my bed because she's a nice reading light. Up here we have a hidden parking ticket that I still need to pay and this little bowl that I made that holds like little things like my stapler and my pencil sharpener. We have a beautiful little plant. My ceramic studio was giving away this book so I just took one and you know, looks cute up there. Over here we have some of my extra colored pencils, paint brushes, my water cup. I have a cup for all my pencil shavings, paint palette, corner rounder, and then just a whole bunch of washi tape. Down here is my label printer and I like it so much more here. It used to be over there on that other green shelf. Down here are all my various sketchbooks. Some of them are finished, some of them are almost finished. And I'm thinking about doing a video finishing my sketchbooks. So like this if you'd like to see it. It would give me a little bit of motivation to actually go ahead and finish those and make it into a video. This is my grandpa's old toolbox. I just have a bunch of stamp supplies in it for now. So I spray painted it red. You'll notice a lot of the objects in my room have some sort of story connected to it. My grandpa passed away recently, so this toolbox does mean a lot to me and I will never get rid of it. So it has its own shelf down there. Move this back. Alrighty, to the wall. This is the wall of all the art supplies that I own and all the art supplies I love and all the art supplies that I use. It's all here and if you're wondering how I made these, I do have a whole video on it so you could watch that for the explanation on that. This is the board from Ikea and then this is also just like a wooden board that I put all my paints on. These are my watercolor crayons and then also my oil pastels all crammed into this one container. So they're all here. It's a little bit messy. Then I have my Posca pens and then all of my pencils. That is the first shelf. And then up here is art from all my favorite artists. We have a couple from Hannah Detterback. We have one from The Ghost Egg, Studio Maggie, Made by Malin, Natalie Koromoto, Elsie, and then a sticker from Lee Alexa that says cool artist. And these are all my colored pencils. I have them organized into red and pink, warm tones like yellow and orange, all my greens, cooler tones like blue and purple, and then black and white and brown and stuff. I have other little bits and bobs hung up. This little card was made by one of my patrons, Katie. It's so beautiful, so I have it hung up right here. We have another vining plant right here. Um, I don't know why this one always dies. I'm not sure if it gets enough sun. Up here we have all of my golden open slow drying acrylics. I need to use these more actually. I don't use them that often because I don't paint on canvas very much. So I'm going to make it a goal this year to use those more. And then we have a fire sauce. My partner put it here and he was like, please tell me if someone notices that there is a taco bell sauce next to your paints. But no one noticed it. No one has noticed it so far. So I'm just gonna point it out now. Right here are all my Holbein, Holbein. Guys, I can never pronounce things, okay? I hope you realize that I just am really bad at pronunciation. Um, pronunciation, pronunciation which that proved my point. These are all my acrylic gouaches and then we have my Windsor and Newton gouaches down below. I try to put it in rainbow order. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work out because I'm lazy. So there's that. Moving on to this part of my workspace here, I have this rolling cart from CB2. And this one was one of my splurge items. And if you have been here since I was in my tiny room in college, you will remember this cart. My room there was so, so small. 
that I needed a cart that fit into my closet, which I could pull out when I needed it. It's still going strong. I do not regret my purchase. It is a perfect place to put my printer. This is the Epson EcoTank ET7750. I picked this up and I don't think they make this exact model anymore. Uh, I got this in 2020 when I started my art business and it has been going strong. It gives me problems like a lot of other printers do. I will say the ink longevity of the Eco Tanks are really, really good. I'm still using ink that was in my original box. It has lasted me three years. Granted, I don't make my prints at home anymore, so I'm not printing things all the time. So it might change. Use that information how you will. This cart is also on wheels. We love wheels. Here I have my iPad and my very large sketchbook. In that corner right by the window I have a little cutting, a Lego my brother made, the snail from Panama, and then a little Kirby guy. And below here I actually found these storage boxes from Ikea and they fit the cart perfectly. I was so proud that I found this. This one is pretty messy. I have like anything tech related. Don't look in there. And then over here is just random art supplies. And then over here I have my new little camera bag. I also found this in my grandma's garage. She has a bunch of stuff in there. That's the pros of having a grandma who just like keeps everything. This is my camera bag. I just keep it here and I usually just keep like my camera and tripod right here. Below here is this little organizer thing from Ikea, but I hate this thing. Like I don't even want to mention it or recommend it to you guys because it's like the flimsiest thing ever. I just keep all my paper here for now, but I'm really looking for another storage thing that could go under my desk because this thing sucks. Like all the paper always, this like this, the shelf is like literally broken right now. I can't, I hate this thing and I always bump into it and I like hate it so much. This is my beautiful standing desk. This is the Compar glass top desk from FlexiSpot and they were kind enough to send me this a couple months ago. And since then, I have loved this desk so much. I used to own another standard flexi spot desk that had a wood top, but my brother has that one now and he also loves it. We'll be giving a new version of that desk away. More details on that to come shortly. This desk is beautiful. I actually just ordered a big mat for this desk because I've been using this notebook as a mouse pad and I really desperately need a mouse pad so I don't damage this glass because it is literally stunning. The reason I love this one is because it has USB ports and a USB-C port. So I usually keep my phone charger here and I also charge my iPad. I don't know why it charges so much faster than if I plugged my phone into the wall. I don't know what kind of sorcery that is but I really appreciate that. And then right over here are all the buttons you use to move the desk up and down. I usually keep mine around 31 inches because it is set to the height of my chair. And this chair is from Ikea. It's honestly a very comfortable chair. My back used to hurt a lot before I got this chair and now it doesn't hurt a lot anymore. And then over here you could set your favorite heights. But the best part of this desk is this little secret drawer. like. It's so sleek, you could barely even notice it. You know, having a little place to store like your little items is amazing. So in here, I keep memo pads, I keep my art reading journal, I have plastic paint palettes, cutting mat, ruler, and also my scale. So that just fits all nicely in here and that just less stuff to have cluttered on my desk. So if you're interested in this particular desk, I will leave a link down below. I know you guys have been waiting for the giveaway, so here are the rules. FlexiSpot will be sending one of you beautiful people their standard E1 standing desk. Very excited to be able to give back to you guys. Unfortunately, this giveaway is closed to US only. International friends, I'm sorry, but hopefully I'll have like some other thing in the future for you guys. The standard E1 desk has a very durable frame and motor and then a gorgeous 42 by 24 inch top. Like mine on the side, there is an option to raise and lower the desk. And this one comes with one USB-A port and one USB-C port. To enter this giveaway, there are three components. One, give this video a like. Two, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at bykittymai. This part is very important because I will be DMing the winner over on Instagram. So make sure you follow me over there too. 
And last thing you need to do, this is also very important, leave a comment on one goal you have for 2023, and then also leave your Instagram handle in the comment. If you don't leave your handle, I won't be able to DM you. So make sure you check it, please. If you don't leave your Instagram handle in the comment, I won't be able to contact you. So please remember to leave it in the comment. Giveaway will be closed January 31st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. I will add all your handles to a random generator and select one winner from there. The winner will have 24 hours to respond to my Instagram DM, 24 hours. So make sure on February 1st, you are checking your DMs. If I don't get a response, I will contact the next person. And remember, this is US only. And that's it. So I'm gonna give you some time to write your comment below while we finish up the rest of the tour. All right, on my desk is my salt lamp, again, which is usually on, but I need a new light bulb for it. Various liquids. I always have like two liquids on me at all time. This is my coffee, and then this is my water bottle. To just protect my desk, I have these two coasters. This one is one I got from Universal Studios in Florida. It is Hello Kitty Jaws, which is so cute. So that one is where I keep my water. And then this one my friend just gave me for Christmas. This cup is from Siamese Bunny and I love it very much. Over here is a computer stand from Ikea. This comes in, I think, white and black, but again, I spray painted it green to match my aesthetic a little bit more. In here are all my stationary things. So I have like these book tabs. I have these dot stickers for my new Hobonichi planner. I the ghost egg gifted this to me actually so I have been having a good time like setting up my planner and watching planner videos so I really hope to like use this. The system I have has been working so far so I like it. A couple other planners in here and they're all undated so like they have just been sitting in here waiting to be used. Here I have my pens and then I have a bunch of colorful gel pens here and then a bunch of highlighters there. And then I really like this stand because I can slide my keyboard under it and then have all this space to draw and make art because I do paint and draw here in this space. So it's very nice that I could tuck that away. And this keyboard is from Amazon. I just searched up colorful keyboard. What else is here? I have my lens cap my SD card holder, just random stuff. And my monitor is an HP monitor. I think I got this from my job, but they didn't ask for it back. So it's just here. I have no idea what like model it is, but I, it does the job. Uh, um, really exciting news guys. I'm, I invested in a MacBook Pro last week. I'm officially switching from Windows to Mac. This is my setup now. It's my Dell laptop. It connects to my monitor. So I'm currently in the process of switching from Windows to Mac. If you guys have any tips on how to like streamline the process, please let me know. I've run into a little bit of trouble with my hard drives. Yeah, this computer setup might be changing in the future. That is pretty much my art studio corner. I tried to make it as fun and cozy as possible so I would enjoy my time working here. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for your art studio. And you know, my studio is in my room, but you can make your art studio literally anywhere. Pretty much your art studio is wherever you make art, so. This is mine. Thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and sending one of you lovely people a desk. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I am so excited for one of you to get a standing desk of your own. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.